Ladies and gentlemen, this evening I bring to you my take on Affinity and Timeless. Object of the de deck is to just dump a bunch of cheap artifacts, including lands and zero and one drops, to power out frogmites, mirror enforcers, cat cannoneers, and, a monitor and monitors that play really well with a synthesizer. Uh, I don't want to start off with three Mishra's Bobble. What eventually lets us draw a card and just an artifact count for zero. Ornithopter, same thing, except this one's a dude. It's, it's usually rel it is, can be relevant for it's just block. It also plays well with Springleaf Drum, uh, which is just another man cheap mana source that works well with us just trying to flood the board with bodies. Solar Transformer. Primarily, I wanted another mana source, and this one just plays well with Uden's Labyrinth, and is another artifact. Uh, Forging the Anchor, everything but six cards, six, ten cards are artifacts, so this is gonna hit usually about four or five on average. Uh, just ran five, card, draw five for three, not bad. Uh, Synthesizer. Strine is nice, but we're here for the constructs. All of our uh, frog mites, all of our expensive creatures have some way to reduce their cost, so we don't ever usually end up paying seven or six mana for them. Uh, so we get free large dudes out of nowhere. Frog mite, uh, just cheap artifact creature. You usually get this out for one, two, sometimes zero mana quite easily. Uh, plays well with Springleaf Drum and with our Cannoneers. Our monitors draw us as cards. Our Cannoneers are just really are cheap, large creatures that are usually end up being unblockable. Thought Monitor draws us a bunch of cards and is usually cheap. Frogmer Enforcer and Mirror Enforcer are just four fours that we usually don't have to pay seven mana for. We've got two Bridge, three Grave, four Citadel, two Scene of the Crime, four Treasure Vault, and four Uden's Labyrinth that plays really well with our eight copies of basically Mirror Enforcer. Sideboard, we're going to be doing some best of ones, but this is the sideboard I have set up for this currently. Uh, I haven't done too many best of threes with this one, but this is probably what I start off with running. Uh, we have two Tormod Crips, three Thought Seas, three Bowmasters, two Stifles, three Stubborn Denials, and two Disruptor Flutes. I've been arguing or the uh, contemplating switching these out for. Pithing or pithy needles, but I'm not 100% certain on that just because of the mana cost. But they still play well with the lap. All right, and let's see what we can do. I'll go and play a bunch of show and tell. We're usually pretty decent in most matchups. Sometimes we can just turn to drop a. Uh, Simulacrum and just start dropping huge constructs. That is not this hand. I'm old in this one. This is a little bit better. I think we're going uh, bottom the Enforcer or the Frogmer. Oh, and speaking of, if you guys like this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Helps the channel grow. Or if you just want to comment. Any alterations you'd probably make to the deck, whether I played well or not. If I've made a big misplay, it happens. Finish off with a Delta. Uh, see, we drew one anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and go the water the grave. And... Not gonna swing with that. Gonna fetch. Gonna fetch. 
Hedge Mage really makes me lean on thinking that this is a uh, show and tell. And that almost seals it up as show and tell. This is going to be a quick game one. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden um, I don't get anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts Yeah, let's just play the synthesizer I'm sorry, Probably end up just starting off with the forge okay. I uh, don't need that I'll keep the bobble Is this gonna be a free artifact? So we can guarantee playing the Frogmer next turn. So it's starting to go down to two. But chance it goes down to zero. Oh, it's the shifting woodland variant. Go ahead and play this. Play this. And let's forge the anchor. As long as we hit any zero drop, we can play this Frogmer. But there, so this is going to do mana drained. Oh, spell pierced. Yeah, sure. Unfortunate. They're just trying to draw it hard. Yeah, three for delirium. Okay, they're still digging. Kind of unfortunate they had the spell pierce. So I think we tried to just start going off next turn. And that's an Ugin's Labyrinth. Let's go ahead and play the Frogmer. Here's the mana drain. No? Oh, nice. I'm going to play the Labyrinth. And I don't need that. I think we're going to look at the top card on the upkeep. Presuming they don't just win this turn. They do have. Ooh. They no longer have Delirium. Got their two cards. Uh, yeah, let's look at the top card and see if we just lose. Oh. Please just be a dude. No. Nope. Show me that's the important part. Good game. They had it. Figured as much. They searched. They saw so many cards that game. And just stalled out. Well, that's not a good initial showing. With how fast that game was, though, we might have to do a four. Remember, you can't control the cards you draw, but you can control how you react to them. Style love those arena tips. This is a hand I will keep. This is an explosive hand, explosive in quotes, because we get a turn to synthesizer. I did go first. Fetch land, not doing anything. Uden's Labyrinth. We will put a Mirror Enforcer underneath there. We will play a Transformer. And we might as well play the Bobble. I don't think we're going to use it this turn. So I'd like to have the cost reduction still. We go ahead and crack it. They surveil. What is this? How about that one? Come on, some hype music. Ooh, Demonic Tutor, yep. Uh, 
That's an ornithopter. I don't dislike that. Synthesizer. Mm, I kind of like the synthesizer into a thought mon- uh, I don't think we need that as a thought monitor though. Um, there's not a whole lot we can do. Hopefully we're not dead here. They did just demonic tutor. Highway robbery. Hmm. I uh, this is starting off is not a list I'm not f I am not familiar with. Um, synthesizer. I just want to put one into play and make a token. I'll put that on bottom. I don't think we need that. We might actually want the thought monitor. We can play that. Decline. Play that. So they have to have it this turn. Yeah, we went from having, like, nothing on table to having lethal on table. Three mana. Highway robbery. Let's go ahead and crack this. It's a phoenix list, okay. They draw a phoenix, what else they got? They didn't discard one. No, because they sacrificed a permanent. Or a land. Okay, faithless looting. You got opponent buried alive. They discharged buried alive. That's one phoenix. You don't need to flash it back now. Really hope we draw. I would love a blue source, an untapped blue source. Okay, so they're gonna put the other th three in their graveyard. That is 12. No turning back opponent. This turn decides a lot for you. I will take six. Draw a card. Card for turn. Let's start off with a thought monitor. If not, we're just playing a bunch of dudes. Ah, uh, that is a blue source that I asked for, but not the one I wanted. So we're just going to play some more dudes. So many tokens. get in there that is lethal they swung with one too many phoenix negative 40 39 but 40 all right one and one Alright, let's get a third game in.
Crumblekin. Hmm. If we had a, something else that we could play with any of this. Let's mold in that. I'll keep this. Um, let's put... Rarely the bobble on bottom. So the real question is, do I... As of right now, between the scene and the vault, I think I want to play the vault or I play the drum. Then we can play that. And then if we hit an untapped land next turn, we can easily play the synthesizer. If not, we are not very far off. It's gonna be bean. Yep, beans. Let's see if we can beat the old beanstalk. That is not what we wanted. Play that. We're gonna tap that. I'm not gonna swing. Reef. They hit a land. Gross. Um, yeah, let's just try this. I know I'd rather be drawing the two cards already, but I'd love to hit a land. And then if we hit a land, we can play that and the Thought Monitor. I will keep both of those. We already have five artifacts out. I think we win in two turns. Maybe three. If they can't do anything. Uh, that is being presumptuous, I understand. Uh, they're starting to head now. Get in with the ri Risen Reef. We will play this. We will... This. That. Because this is a bad spring leaf drum. Go ahead and make a dude. Put that on bottom. And then let's draw two cards and make two more dudes. And we'll make two more dudes. And two more dudes. 15, 15, 17, 17s again. All right, opponent, let's see what you got. Play a tapped shock land, a revels. What can you do against my seven, seventeen, seventeens? You're gonna let me gain seventeen life? And you play an Omnath. You are about to go nuts. Don't get me wrong. Another land, another Omnath trigger. That dies. Yeah, that was a cool turn. Cool story, bruh. We're going to gain 16 more. Another Omnath. More landfall triggers. Double miss off of that. I'm not arguing. Ooh, he's going to ephemerate it. Nice. If we didn't just have an army. We still have four 14 14s. 
And we're at 67 now. Um, right, I'm not saying there's nothing they can do, but I don't know what they can do. They're so up on cards. Can't argue that. They're going to kill... What are they going to kill? Thought Monitor... Frogmite? So many Risen Reefs. So this doesn't do anything now? Yeah. What are you doing to Fury? Thought Monitor for my Okay, that's what I thought. Gross, another ephemerate. Okay, they're down to 12 12s. He is doing a lot of work. But right, we have no reason to concede. How many cards are on there left? There are four cards left in the library. They don't have a Thoracle? Did I just get thoracle Nope, they just scooped it up! Haha! <laughs> Good game opponent. Yeah, sure, we'll like that one. All we did was just spit out dudes and we got there. Alright, one more quick game. Before we wrap this video up. Again, just a remind again, just sorry about that. Just again, just a reminder, if you guys like this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. What are you guys liking out of Bloom Bro so far? I know this isn't necessarily showcasing Bloom Bro, but it is show, it does use a special guest from Bloom Bro. I cannot read that name. Hmm. This hand is too slow. This hand is awkward after an turn, sure. I'll put a transformer. Uh, elegant parlor. So we're playing against Boros, lovely. Play the bridge. start for us. They've got a guide, an ocelot. This is going to get scary real quick. And the fact we drew a land. I think we have to play this. To stand any kind of trans chance and then we just drop the frog. And 
No, we're not going to prototype that. Should have prototyped it. Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me. I'm such a disgrace. I never Let's see what we draw this turn. Probably not enough to keep us alive. Not on the prize. Yep, good game opponent. Good game. Alrighty. Well, thanks for sticking around, guys. I really enjoyed playing it, playing this for you to, for you guys and gals today. Uh, another just friendly reminder: if you guys like liked this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Um, trying to get again the keyboard is trying to get back into doing this a little bit more I need to be doing this a little bit more uh, especially with how often I play this it's just it takes forever to get the motivation to do this with the way things have been going for me recently but not trying to dwell on a bad note uh, I will hopefully see most of you again in the future have a good one, guys.